From a master bedroom deck, the top deck, the guardrails are high enough. The guardrails are high enough. However, and this is consistent with all of the deck rails, is the muntins. The muntins are, is that right? Ballasters? Excuse me, spindles, ballasters. This space farther apart than four inches, so a kid could slide through there. We've uh, had some timber that's been replaced here. And nails are popping out. See the nails right there. And we've got a little degradation right in here. And what we're missing is flashing. There's, there's no... That's loose. That's moving under my feet. Flashing, ledger board flashing. We don't have any. Might as well get all these done. Okay. So, moving along. Not a deck video, but why not? There it is. We got 36 inches here. Now we got 34 inches. 34 inches, not 36. 34 inches is for handrails. And those 34 inches. Another 33 inches. Huh. Okay. Seven inch space underneath the stairs. Yeah, we don't. So open risers. Open risers. Are these handrails graspable? No. No, they're not graspable. Okay, so the handrails are not graspable. The balusters are spaced farther than four, four inches apart. The handrails and the guardrails are not high enough. There's the open risers again. So this brings us, I think, to the middle deck. Is that what we got? Okay. Coming on along. Again, space too far apart. Got a little bit of wood right, right in there on the rail. Now what we're missing here on the others Okay, that's 36 inches. Okay, that's good. That's good. Still no flashing. Let's look up here. Wow, we scabbed on a board up here. We got new timbers and scabbed on a board. I wonder why all that wood rot happened. That's where the flashing isn't. That's where the flashing isn't. And look in here. You see this one? I see a hanger. See a hanger. All of them should have hangers. I don't see any hangers except for this one. They said, well, we're putting a new one in. Let's put a hanger on this one. They didn't fasten it. There's no nails in there. No flashing. No fasteners on the hanger that's there. I cannot tell if there's any hangers here. You gotta hope, but I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Why? Can I see this hanger? See the way it's sticking out over the edge? All right, you see anything sticking out over that edge? I don't, I don't see anything sticking out over there. I don't see those hangers there. I think they're all sitting there on that one little piece of horizontal trim board is what I think. That's what it looks like to me. Also, we got some exposed NM cable. That's an electrical issue, I get that. Missing lights, that's an electrical issue. I get that too. Now here's an interesting thing that we got here. Okay, this is a ledger board, band board, excuse me, got band board. This is one post. This is another post. That's the only post you have for this whole span. I get it. It's wide open. It's beautiful. Check that out. Nothing messing with my view. Nothing messing with my view at all. That's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight in the middle of this. That's my opinion. Now, it could be engineered to work like that. It could be. But and if, if we don't know that it was engineered to work like that, then there's space too far apart. There's space farther than eight feet. That's too far apart. Again, everything, low handrails. Handrails are not graspable. Risers are open. Hey. Just kind of handle the stairs and the decks all at the same time.
I'll put this in the deck section. The stairs are pretty self-explanatory. So we go down here. See the band boards? Okay. See the butt joints? See some support there? I don't. Again. See all the water rolling back underneath there? You see any flashing? I don't see any of that either. Another missing light bulb. Another missing light bulb. I think these posts are closer as far up eight feet. I don't. This is called checking. And believe it or not, I've been taught that that doesn't, a mockingbird, that that does not affect the strength of the post. I don't usually call it to my client's attention. I mean, I always talk about checking, but I don't usually call it to my client's attention. Unless you can stick a whole pocket knife in there. You know? Again, it's an aesthetic issue. When do you decide to have it, and when do you decide not to have it, and how do you deal with it once you got it? That's just, it's not supposed to affect the strength of the post. It doesn't mean that you don't need another post. It doesn't mean that it's okay for these posts to be right in contact with the cement. I can't tell because we've got this little baseboard wrapped around here, but there should be a, a metal stand underneath there that's bolted to this post to keep water from wicking up in it. Do we have one of those? I don't know. I don't know. Coming along here with this deck, wood to ground contact, wood to ground contact. You think there's any ventilation under there? I don't. And how about this? They painted it. It can't breathe. It's like putting a jar, I turn a jar upside down, putting it on the ground. When the moisture comes out of the ground, it comes into this wood. Does it evaporate? Or does it just stay there on the wood? It's kind of crooked. Kind of crooked, just saying. Coming along. Now we got some ventilation over here. We got some ventilation on this end. What else we got? Wood to ground contact. Those posts just go straight into the ground. All these bushes growing up on here. You think termites like to hide in bushes and eat wood that's in direct contact with the ground that's rotting because that's on direct contact with the ground? I do. That's what I think. You think this could have been done better? Uh-huh. Sure could have. Just saying. Get some light under here. Yeah. Snakes? What else we got? What? Get out of here. Oh, just my imagination. Boy, it scared me. It did scare me. I thought I found a, a dead animal. I found a, but I didn't. I didn't. It's just a pile of wood. Oh, direct contacts. Look at that post right under the ground. Oh, it's right under the ground. No ventilation down there. Look at all this. You're going to get some utility out of it. You're going to sit out here and have a couple of craft beers and smoke a cigar. You're going to enjoy this beautiful view. You're going to get some more utility out of this, but it's not going to last that long. It's already lasted that long. The ironic thing is, the irony of it all with decks and fences. If you build this thing right, it'll last about 14 years. If you just put it up here like a tree house, like this is built, it's only gonna last about 14 years. They're gonna last about the same amount of time because they're made out of the same stuff. Would it be a lot safer if you built it right? You bet it would be safer if you built it right. Would it last longer if you built it right? Probably. Statistically, the odds are better that it's going to last, that you're going to get more utility out of it. Deck's kind of warping right here. A lot of our fasteners are, can you see that? A lot of our fasteners are coming out. Okay, a guardrail is supposed to withstand 200 pounds of lateral force. You think that's 200 pounds of lateral force? You think that's going to withstand 200? I don't. I don't think it will. These balusters are yeah, balusters are definitely wider apart than four inches. Still looking for my tape measure. We're almost done, man. Just bear with me. Did I stop you? 
Yeah, you're going. I'm pushing all kinds of buttons here. Mr. Magoo. Mr. Magoo just fumbling through the inspection here. All right, 34 inches, 34 inches. Okay, outdoor grills are beyond the scope of this inspection. Well, you got one with a split handle. And this thing's just ugly. Um, the valve won't turn. Doesn't look like it's in that bad of shape, but the valve won't turn. It's probably got a copper gas supply line. You know how much better this place would look if you just took that out? I know. I had one of these in my house. I was just real happy about it. My wife said no. I came home one day, it was gone. The yard looks a lot better. My feelings got my feelings got better real fast. Just, just get rid of it. This is my opinion, my recommendation. Now the deck here is going down. We've got negative drainage going to the house to this crawl space area, which I cannot get into. We've already had that conversation, maybe. Cannot get into that. Wish I could. I'd tell you what I saw. But since I couldn't get in there, I, I didn't see anything. We got negative drainage. We got erosion right in there. Coming all along. One, two, three, four, four or more steps should have a handrail. And the steps are supposed to be dimensionally uniform. Not more than a 32nd of an inch difference. Can you see that? I can see it. Electric receptacle outlets should have bubble covers. Did I already say? I did. I did. How many times are you going to beat up the lack of flashing on the ledger board, bud? Oh, every time I see it, every single time I see it. Okay, windows. Right, this is probably windows closer than 24 inches to the door. This should have been tempered safety glass. I'm not seeing, I call them bugs, you know, labels, I don't see it. They can be hidden. This is the piece of resistance. The piece of resistance. Let's just go down here for a moment and walk into it. We're up to it. Just get it all done. This holly bush has kind of kept me from looking, you know. Wood ground contact, lattice. Wood to ground contact, wood to ground contact, wood to ground contact. Look at this. Those are sheetrock screws. 200 pounds of lateral force. They anchored this with sheetrock screws. Can you believe that? I don't. Coming on along. Dimensionally uniform. No more than 32nd of an inch. Look. I guess you can move this whole pallet out. I guess it's a free floater because it looks to me like there's a little door that goes underneath there. Is that what that is? Strange. Now here's another thing. This is mostly ADA, I get that. But you're not supposed to have more than three degrees slope. Because if you have handy, capable people coming in, you got more than three degrees slope, then, you know, they can start rolling on you. Start rolling on you. Coming all along. Is this seen better days? Yeah. This deck's probably not going to last as long as that deck, and that deck's probably not going to last as long as the patio decks. 